right, let's get started. So right now you should be on page 34 in your notes. So I'll wait till I see everyone flipping to page 34. Charlotte, page 34. Thank you. All right, so... Today we're kind of going to be transitioning into going from pictures to just doing the equation. So would someone help me set up the equation for picture number one? Yes, go ahead. Uh, door X door three equals 16. All right, do we agree? Yes. Almost, it's actually 18. All right, it's okay. All right, so what is our first step when we're looking at our picture? What can we get rid of? Yes. Oh, um, take away two coins. Take away two coins. So we're going to cross out two of these coins. I'm going to write subtract two coins from what? Each side. From each side. Make sure you write all of that on your paper. All right, so that's what we did yesterday. Today, what we're going to be doing to add into that is working with our equation. So how that's going to look is you're just going to subtract 2 from each side, draw your line, 2 minus 2 simplifies out, so you're left with 4x on the left side of your equal sign. 18 minus 2 is? 16. Thank you. Can you pause for just a sec? Um, remember how Maddie just said she's going to do it from both sides? So, Ms. Parents, can we draw a line down that, like, equal sign? Maybe okay. in blue? Okay, so all the way up, all the way up, Ms. Perry. So whatever Maddie said to do on the left side of that blue line, Maddie's going to do to the right side of the equation. So we're going to make sure you have that blue line. Obviously, yours isn't going to be blue. All right, and the second step, what do we do now? What am I going to be writing right here? Yes. Divide. Divide what? Um, sixteen by four. Pause for just a second, thank you. Um, do you guys remember when we did cross multiplication? Step one was to cross multiply, and step two was to divide by the. What is the number in front of the x called? No, the coefficient. The coefficient. So we're going to divide by the. See how four is in front of that x there? So we're going to do just like we did last month. We're going to divide by that coefficient. All right. And look how Miss Perry divides. She's not going to put that old-fashioned division sign. She's going to put a little fraction, like a bar sign there. Everyone look at Miss Perry's fraction. All right, so you divide on each side of your blue line. The left side's going to simplify to 1, so you're left with x equals 16 divided by 4 gives me... So x equals 4. Now if we go back to our picture, and we're looking at our picture, what are we going to do with our coins over here? Someone raise your hand and tell me. What did we do last week? Or two days ago. Yes. Can we like circle some of them and put them on the side? Yeah, how many am I going to circle each time? Uh, four. Four. Alright, so go ahead and do this with me. Circle four. Put an arrow to one back. Circle four. Arrow to one back. All right, so it's going to look just like that. And then if we check our answer, what do I do to check my answer? Someone remind me. Yes, look. Um, you have to rewrite the, um, the equation. Mm -hmm. But, so I rewrite the equation, 4x plus Oh, and then fill two. in the x's with, fill in the x with 4. Yes, so I'm going to fill in each x with what I found x plus was 4. So if I do that, I'm going to set it at 4 times what? 4. Plus 2 equals 18. 4 times 4 gives me what? 18. Plus 2 gives 18. me? 18. 18 equals 18. So we did that one correct. Does that make sense? What questions do you have? Excellent. All right, go ahead and try number two on your own. I'll be walking around if you have any questions. First thing I want you guys to do is put, and if Stuart says the word equation there, so you're going to skip a box and then write an equation. And the equation right here. Yeah, so step one would be doing our equation. 
And then we're going to move to step two, writing the word. Miss Perry drew that line in green there. So she had the left side of the equal sign and a right side. So you can look up here and double check that your equation matches mine. Nope. All right, walk me through this. 3x plus 6 equals 12. What is my first step? Ashley. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. Excellent. Thank you. So over here, that's going to look like subtract 6. Subtract 6 on both sides of the line. I cross out my 6s, so I'm left with 3x equals 6. And my second step, raise your hand and tell me. So on both sides, Ashley, you're doing great. Yes. Uh, divide by the coefficient. Perfect. I love how you said coefficient. Divide by the coefficient, which is what? Uh, two. Oh, three. Yeah. Three. So we divide by the coefficient on both sides. Threes are going to simplify to one. Three x over three. So you're left with x equals, what's 6 divided by 3? Everyone? Everyone? Two. 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 Thank you. All right. So what we did here is we subtracted 6 from both sides. 1, 2, 3. 6 from both sides. And then we divide by the coefficient, which was 3. So that means we're going to have two coins in each bag. Ladies and gentlemen, remember the other day when I said that we're not going to use pictures for very much longer? Well, today's our last day we're going to use pictures. So the reason why she's using um, that equation column is because starting on Monday, that's the only column you're going to use. We're not going to have a picture. We're not going to have to write in words. We're only going to do that column. So it's important that you can do that third column with us today because starting Monday, that's all you got. All right, help me check my answer. How do I check that? Raise your hand and tell me, please. Kayla, yes. So you get the 3x instead of 3x because 3 times 2. 3 times 2 plus 6 equals 12. Equals 12. 3 times 2, everyone, is? Let's try that again. 3 times 2, everyone, is? 6, six plus 6 is? 12. Does 12 equal 12? Yep. We got it. All right. Now we're going to scroll down, and it's just going to get a smidgen more complex. Why is it a smidgen more complex? What do we notice in the picture? There's bags on both sides. All right, so if I'm setting up my equation, someone help me set up my equation. Raise your hand, please. Yes, go ahead. 2x uh, plus 3 equals 2x plus 3. Yeah. No. Uh, why is it not 2x? Oh, that's 3. 
How many bags are on our left side of our equal sign? Three. So it's going to be? Three. Three X. Plus three. Plus three. So there's three coins. Um, equals two X. Plus nine. Plus nine. Because we have nine coins. I agree. Right now, everyone make that long line down the equal sign like Miss Perry did in green. All right. So now what we're going to do is what? What is my very first step? Kayla. Subtract two bags from each side. Subtract two bags from each side. And does it matter if we start with X or if our numbers? No, it doesn't matter. But sometimes it makes it a little bit easier to start with X. So excellent choice, Kayla. Subtract 2x from each side. Okay, let's pause there. Do you see how, look at the overhead, please. Do you see how Ms. Perry wrote that minus 2x in the, those specific spots? The reason why you're going to do this, and this is pretty important, is because if you have 2x minus 2x, Ms. Perry's just going to cross it out. I have people that I'm walking around, they're writing like minus 2x all the way down here or over here. Look where she makes it. She's doing it very organized. And notice that she put the minus 2x underneath the 3x part. That's important. It's going to help organize all of your process so that you don't get the wrong answer. So this simplifies out so that all we have left on the right side is what? Just the 9. She's on the right side. All right, and on the left side, what do we have left? 3x minus 2x is? 1 plus 3. It's just 1x, or we could write it as x plus what? 3. 3. Thank you, Charlie. All right, and so what did we do? How can I put that in words? We subtracted how many bags from each side? Two. Two bags from each side. All right, and our next step. Raise your hand and tell me what our next step is, please. Oh, raise your hand, please. Yes, thank you. Divide by the coefficient, which is? All right, there's a lot of extra noise. You shouldn't be talking unless you're with an adult right now. Kayla, yes, what's my coefficient? Kayla, look at you go. Yes, that's absolutely right. So, Kayla, we are going to subtract three from each side. All right. So threes simplify out to zero, so we're left with what on my right side? On my right side, what do I have left? 5x plus 3x. We're just left with x. 9 minus 3 gives me? 6. 6. So we have x plus 6. So over here, that's going to look like how many bags do we have left over here? One. Just one. We took out the three coins. We subtracted three. And we have how many coins left? Six. How many bags left? One. One. All right. Now if I'm double checking my work, how do I plug it in? What am I plugging in for X this time? Oh. Ashley? That's absolutely right. She had to plug in 6 two times. Why? Because there's two X's. There's two X's, correct? All right, so someone figure the right side out for me, someone figure the left side out for me on your calculators. Raise your hand once you have it. Breath hour, yes. On the right side equals 21. All right, do we have a left side? Uh, yeah, 21. Is it? Do we agree? Yes. 21 equals 21? Yeah. All right, excellent. That's correct. All right, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to skip this last one, and we're just going to go straight to B. All right, so from this point on, we will not be using pictures anymore. I think you guys are doing really excellent and we can just do straight to the equations. So number one, 30 equals 6 plus 4x. What is my first step for number one? Raise your hand and tell me. Charlie, yes. Uh, 
All right, let's come back together. Eyes up here. Once I see your eyes, know you're ready. We know a few more people. All right, all set. So what's my first step? I've made my line. That's my first step. Next, what do I do? Yes? Oh, I don't think we're getting the respect we deserve. Where should our eyes be? Awesome. Go ahead. Subtract 5 from each side. Subtract 5 from each side. 5 what? X. 5X. And I saw about 17,000 people just put minus 5. You are subtracting 5X. Please make sure that you put 5X there. That's the term that we're working with. If we don't put an X, then we're not working with the same term. Is 5X and 5 the same thing? No. All right, that can simplify, so we're left on the right side with just 5. 7X minus 5X gives me what class? 2X. 2X. All right, next step. Raise your hand, tell me. The one beside. There we go, yes. Divide by the coefficient, which is 2. And again, we're showing our division symbol with how it would look as a fraction. 2x over 2 simplifies to x equals 5 over 2. What's 5 over 2 in decimal form? 2.5. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for your homework, this is going to be a completion grade. 